As you know, when uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited Myanmar, a joint declaration was adopted. And uh, since then, I met Foreign Secretary Mr. Jay Shankar, and they also updated their position. A fresh document was issued. The Indian representative at the UN Human Rights Commission has also issued a very clear and categorical statement. And India has also joined us, as well as the, all the members of the UNHCR, in the adoption of a resolution giving fresh mandate to a UN team to continue to pursue the human rights situation in Myanmar. At the bilateral level, there has been discussion between our foreign minister and external affairs minister, both in New York as well as bilaterally over telephone. So I do believe that when external affairs minister would be going to Dhaka, we will discuss all bilateral issues, of course. In addition, we will also exchange our views on Myanmar, the Rohingya refugee question. Since India is a prime mover of the beamstick, and since both Bangladesh and Myanmar and India are all members, and India has borders with both Bangladesh and Myanmar, we expect India to, as a regional power, to play some important role to force Myanmar's government to accept their reality. We do not want Myanmar to be isolated. We do not want Myanmar to be ostracized. But we want Myanmar to understand that displacement of this kind of huge population creates security problems for all of us. So these people who are uprooted from their homes, they are particularly vulnerable. Vulnerable because, as the UN Secretary General himself has said, that they are going to be victims of radicalization. So it is better that we resolve this issue sooner than later. I'll, I'll come back to this. Yeah. Believe me, I'll come. So naturally, we want that as a regional power, and as we know, the refugees will affect others secondarily, but India and Bangladesh are the frontline states. So naturally, we have to coordinate with each other so that we can put out the fire in our region as fast as we can. Well, as you know, the joint communique and the joint declarations are normally prepared well before the visit. And the joint declaration that was adopted following Prime Minister Modi's visit was actually worked out before the mass exodus actually had started. And I think uh, after the visit, Prime Minister Modi had returned on a Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. And I did meet on Saturday. By then, in these two, three days, we already had something like 300,000 Rohingya refugees. So I updated him how the situation has changed. Maybe when Prime Minister Modi was there, it was an anti-terrorist campaign. But the fallout of this kind of mass exodus took place subsequently. So I would say Indian government updated their position on the Rohingya question. And After they made it more bad. They expressed their concern about the human rights situation and the more Rohingya refugees should be taken back and all these issues in a more comprehensive manner. So it's basically an updating, I would say.